welcome back to my channel it's been two weeks since i filmed an actual like makeup tutorial my last one was the one brand tutorial if you haven't seen it i will list it on my description bar i feel like it's just been a very rough month um so many things have happened in the last three weeks but um it's really hard to talk about it but I'm gonna tell you guys anyways because I really feel like we have that connection with each other so on September 21 um, my oldest sister her name is Sorelli she lost her boyfriend and I don't want to say so much about it but I'm telling you guys this right now because I really feel like I can trust you guys and I know that you guys would not like ever judge me. My sister just lost her boyfriend. He was only 22 years old and we've known him for a really long time ever since we were very little like maybe 11 years old. We lost a really good friend. My sister was going out with him just recently like four months ago because they, they found each other again. It's just been very rough with my family also I cared for him pretty much considered him as like the family already and yeah I just feel like we lost like a brother we lost someone very special to us you just never know what tomorrow holds and it was just something out of nowhere nobody ever expected it I just don't like talking about these kinds of things I just I don't know I feel very very weird but I just feel like I have to because I owe you guys an explanation why I haven't been here filming and you know doing what I love to do but I just felt like I couldn't like I couldn't just film like that and that's why i decided to do a get ready with me a chit chat get ready with me yeah i'm gonna put on my little headband i know so many of you guys love these headbands but honestly i just hate like i have so many baby hairs on my freaking head so i haven't moisturized my face my skin has been very dry lately so i recently just got this for Sally, the 24 karat infused serum i've been using this lately and it really makes a big like difference to my skin it makes it feel really healthy and most importantly very glowy which i am all for but since it's getting a little more cooler here in vegas my skin has been getting very very dry i've been using this for like almost a week now and I love it like instantly just brightens up your face okay so now to prime my skin I use this primer only two times but when I wore this primer I really really like it it controls my oils which I like all for but I only apply this on my t-zone area I did like some extractions last night so it's a little red like I have little red areas but for the outer places of my face i'm gonna take the hourglass veil mineralize i'm just gonna apply this right here so anyways like i was saying he was 22 years old and i don't want to say like how he passed away and stuff but let's just say that we didn't expect it it was really out of nowhere and that's why i haven't been so active here um, i just didn't have the energy i wasn't going to be myself if i did film so that's why i just decided not to film and then also i really wanted to be there for my sister and my family and now she's okay now she's you know coping with it and she's doing well now you know i still want to be there for her and that's what family is for you know you guys stick together no matter what i don't want to get emotional also what happened here in vegas i'm gonna be using the smashbox photo primer now i really like this stuff i ran out of it and i bought a new one yeah uh, i don't think a lot of you guys know but i am from vegas i don't know what foundation to take. i'm gonna use my yesterday i rediscovered the cover fx cream foundations these are right here i would use these cream foundations during the winter time because they're super creamy and they just hydrate my skin a lot which i need right now but this is the um cover fx total cover cream foundation i got nc60 and then i got nc50 just in case this one's darker but i think i'm gonna go with the darker shade because i feel like i'm a little tan um i'm also gonna apply with my morphe m439 brush you see like it's the perfect match too right now 
so what happened and i did also put it on my snapchat is that my brother's best friend boyfriend's little brother he was actually working at the concert he was working for three days the third day the shooting happened but thank god he clocked out at 10 and i know the shooting happened at 10 but he was gonna clock out at one o'clock in the morning because that's where um i guess it was time to clean up. I guess the concert was over at like around 1. The crazy thing is that me and my boyfriend were actually going to pick him up that day. So we were already there. We were already like on our way to the strip and we were just about to get him. We called him when it happened, you guys. That's the craziest part because we couldn't find him. We were like, so where are you exactly? He sent us the wrong location too. Like out of nowhere, it sent us to a different one. So we were like by the wind. It's not super close to Mandela Bay. The wind is like by the entrance of the strip, if that makes sense. And then Mandela Bay is way in the back. When we were calling him, he picked up the phone and we were like, where are you, Luisa? He told us, you know what, way over there by Mandela Bay. And he was like, you know what, just go to Mandela Bay. But like I said, it took us to win. It was a weirdest thing and that's why we called him we were like you send us the, the wrong location and then right when we, he was explaining to us where he was at he was like i'm by hooters or whatever and then right when he said that we heard um shots it first sounded like a helicopter obviously it wasn't so my boyfriend was really confused seriously it was the scariest thing you guys like now um i'm gonna take this nyx hd studio concealer um this is in color Carmel um, and I'm just gonna put it on the areas where I need it kind of like right here I like because it cancels on my dark spots. So now I'm just gonna do it with my beauty blender I'm gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Sand Tan and I just use this to Conceal my under eyes. You guys already know if you guys are thinking about getting it, I think you guys should because it's full coverage and it doesn't make you look cakey whatsoever. So I really do recommend this one. Now I'm going to be taking medium, the same Tarte Shape Tape. So now to contour, I'm going to be using the Fenty Matchstick. This is in the color Truffle. And then I'm going to blend it out with my Beauty Blender. I just wanted to fill you guys in because I really feel like I owe you guys an explanation. And if you guys follow me on Snapchat, I can keep you guys updated. Um, I also have that on my description bar, all listed right here, maybe. So now I'm gonna go in with my Lormers, with my Lormers here, with my Kat Von D Translucent Locket Powder. I'm gonna just look up, get rid of the creases, and then go in with my Laura Mercier powder and just set my concealer. I mean, my Kat Von D, I always come use it. Oh my god. And I'm gonna set my face with the translucent powder with a Becca Kabuki brush. And now I'm just gonna get rid of the powder with this Morphe G35 brush. So I clearly don't know what I'm gonna do. I feel like I should definitely do something like fall vibes because I haven't done anything like it. I am for sure gonna do something like dark and fall. So now I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and then I like getting my MAC Free My Fix Plus and just damp the beauty blender a little bit and then just melt the powder that we just baked with into our skin. That's just gonna make it less powdery and less matte. Like, I don't like looking super matte. I do like looking luminous. I'm gonna move on to bronzer, my favorite part. I don't think I have anything new for bronzer. Like, so I'm gonna add some of the BH Cosmetics Satin Bronzer. This is in Tropical Tan with my Morphe M527. I'm um, just gonna bronze up my face. Even in fall time, I bronze. I don't give 
So if you guys have a favorite bronzer, list it down below. I am very curious to know your favorite bronzer. Maybe I'll pick it up and use it on my next tutorial. So yeah, just let your girl know. So now that we're done with that, oh my god, you guys. Like, I've heard about this blush, but I'm just now realizing how bomb it is. This is the MAC Modern Mandarin Blush. If you guys are like an NC44, NC45, I really recommend this blush because... It's bomb. Like, especially on us tan babies, like, we are done, you guys, with the face. So I'm going to be doing my eyebrows off camera because I am going to be recording an updated brow routine very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, I'll see you guys right now when I have my brows done. Okay, guys, so now that I'm done with my eyebrows, I give this video a thumbs up if you guys want a brow routine, updated brow routine. I will for sure do one. And now I'm just going to do my eyebrows eyes and for today's palette I am going to be using the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. I am so excited to use this palette because I mean by the way this palette was sent to me as PR. I did get the little mini refrigerator like I think I can show you guys right now. Look at this. Look at this you guys. How cute is this? Too Faced never disappoints with their packaging. Like, got the whole entire collection. So cute. So of course I had to go in with the Just Peachy Matte. Look how precious this palette is. Like, by the way, if you guys see my nails, I know they're grown out. I am going to get them done on Saturday. So just beware you guys so the first color that i'm gonna go in with is just peachy is this one right here I take my morphe m504 brush to blend this color i'm gonna be taking this shade on my crease so i love matte eyeshadows during the winter i feel like they look the best so far this shade is very pigmented easy to blend i love too faced eyeshadows because they are super super pigmented these are already um, available at sephora or online i'm pretty sure now i'm gonna go in with I don't know whether to go with Fresh Picked or Peach Colbor because they're kind of similar. This one right here and this one. This one looks a little bit darker, so I'm going to go in with this one first. I'm just going to... Yeah. Oh my god. In person, you guys. Wow, this color is gorgeous. And a little bit goes a long way. I'm just literally going one, two, and that's all. Like, look how pigmented this is. So pretty. I think I know what to go for now. I'm gonna do a smoky eye, but with a very thick winged eyeliner. Like, I've been waiting to do that look. So I am definitely doing that. So now I'm going to go in with Peach Colbert. I'm adding this on my inner corner and then dragging a little bit on here like this. So just blending back and forth windshield wiper motions. I think I'm going to go in now with Peach Tart, but I'm going to take a more smaller brush. I'm gonna go in with this Morphe M513 brush and taking Peach Tart. I'm just gonna barely touch it. And then I'm gonna concentrate this color right here. Not super like far up, but almost like on top of the lid, if you will, because like I said, we are doing a smoky eye and I do want to not mix colors right now. I just want to add it and blend it out and buff it out. So as you guys can see, I'm just adding this on top of the lid. I'm not going super far up. So now that we have that finished, I'm going to go in with a more flat brush. This one is the Morphe M513 
for Tutu Brush. And I'm gonna be taking the same color and applying this on my lid. I was gonna go in with the darkest shade right here, but I'm not so sure now because it is pretty dark. I'm gonna go in with the same um, blending brush that we added the brown. Just blend the outer edges so we don't have harsh lines. I'm sorry if there's noise downstairs. So now to do my lower lash line, I'm gonna take Just Peachy, blending this out with my Morphe M514 brush. And now taking a more flat brush, I'm gonna take Peach Cobra and then Cobbler, Cobbler, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm just gonna add this on my lower lash line. Now taking a flat brush, this is from a Makeup Addiction, and taking Peach Tart again. And just apply this on my lower lash line, just blowing it out. Okay, so we're pretty much done with the eyes. I'm just gonna do my eyeliner. And today's eyeliner that I'm gonna be using is the L'Oreal Blackest Black Gel Liner. And to apply it, I'm gonna be using my Sigma E06. Is this little detail brush right here. It's super tiny. And also, I did do an how to do a perfect eyeliner. Um, I will have it on my description bar if you guys wanna check that out. They're very easy and simple steps. I did one eye with the gel eyeliner and then I did the other eye with the liquid eyeliner and like I said I do want it a little like thick okay so for lashes I'm gonna be taking the Lena lashes welcome to fabulous Sin City, Sin City Lashes. And I, I'm gonna be taking Laura's right here. And don't forget to, to curl your eyelashes. I always do that because my lashes are straight. And I'm gonna be using They Are Real from Benefit. To tight line, I'm gonna be using this Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Pear Vision. Okay, so I'm just going to be applying these. So right when I was putting them on, my camera just shut down. So I'm so sorry, you guys. But again, these are Laura from Elena Lashes. I will have them on my description box if you guys are interested. And now I'm going to be highlighting. These lashes are really dramatic, but I'm like living. I highlight now on my brow bone with the Nikko Tutorials Everglow Highlighter. I've been really liking this highlighter to um, highlight my face. So I am going to now highlight my inner corners. And since there is no type of shimmers on this palette, I think I'm going to use just like this highlighter for my inner corners. And then I also like taking the same brush and Applying highlight on down the bridge of my nose. Now I'm going to be taking the Ever Glow highlighter from the Nikka Tutorials collection. And wow. And then on my chin. Now for lips, I think I'm going to go in with a nude color because I want attention to be on my eyes, not on my lips. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with NYX Cosmetics Lip Liner. This is in the shade Need Me. So I'm gonna go in with the Lena Lashes um, Luca shade. Lusa or Luca, I don't know. But Okay, I like it, but it feels very comfortable and not drying whatsoever. Let's see. I'm going to go in with this Anastasia Ashton shade right here. Oh, okay, that looks so much better. So last but not least, I'm going to be setting my face with the Hangover 3-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. 
Okay guys, so this is the finished result. I really hope you guys enjoyed my chit chat get ready with me. Like I said, I really wanted to, to give you guys an explanation why I haven't been here. I'm very, very sorry. But yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you guys like this makeup tutorial. It's very fall, which I was like, I need to do I look with the Just Peachy palette. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.